Ladies and gentlemen, in this corner, weighing way more than he did before isolation, it's me, Jason Marion, and that is... Uh, I'm Ray Matson. The Night Talkers Variety, 10 minutes. And that's what we are... Uh, Ray, are you frozen? Oh my God, he's had a smiling heart attack. Ding, 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 ding. Ding, ding. Turn the plant on, Ray. Let's... Uh... Turn the, turn the volume up. Oh, yeah. Oh, great. Yeah, lovely stuff. All right. We're on isolation TV, aren't we? We're on isolation TV. Okay, well, I think it's time for our first segment. It went very well last week, and it was very popular. Ray's Pet Hates. Oh, hang on a sec. Sorry, keep going. I've just got a call. Yes. Hello, Margaret. So hang on a sec, Margaret. It's the Isolation TV boss. Oh. Yeah, Margaret Hart. Hello, Margaret. Sorry, yes. Are oh, you watching through a feed? She's watching the, uh, the, the show. Oh. Ray. Yeah, it's Ray. Ray's pet hates. Oh, okay. No, no, you're the boss. Okay. Thanks, Margaret. How's, how's Trevor? She wants this segment to be called Rates Pet Hates. Rates. But why is that? Because rate, rate rhymes with hate. My name's Ray. So it's no, Ray's I know. Pet hates. She wants it to be called Rates Pet Hates because it rhymes. She just wants you to change your name um, for this segment to Rate. You'll be calling me Rate through this Through, through this, this segment. segment. Don't get confused. I'm going to call you Rate. Okay. Don't forget that your name is Rate. Right. Rate. Um, it's time now for Rate's Pet Hates. Rate's Pet Hates. Okay, Rate. Um, Who? Rate. Your Rate, remember? Oh, yeah. Um... Okay, right. Now, uh, this week you said... Um, right. Yeah. Now, right, you said your pet hate um, was going to the toilet. Um, can, what's that can, all about? I can't stand it. You've got to take your pants off. Mm -hmm. That's not good. You don't I like don't, taking your pants off in front like of yourself? You're a bit of a prude, even when it comes to looking at your own body. Mm. I don't like taking Is my pants off. Is that what it's about? I don't like taking my pants off and I don't like when people are outside and they can hear me screaming because of stuff's coming out of me. Yeah. God, why do we have to go to the toilet? I don't know. And you've got two pets. Your other pet hate is pogo sticks. I don't know why there are so many pogo sticks, but um, I, for one don't like them well that was rates pet hates rates ding ding gong, 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 gong. time now for jason's self-portrait oh is that how you spell portrait exactly right jason's self-portrait hold on portrait or portraits portrait okay I've been drawing in isolation, and uh, here's one. Can you see that? <laughs> yep, that's a good one. Back, back fat, fat or back, or back fart. fart? That's the question. Not many. You, who knows? I just remember drawing it as it was happening, and I'm going, Jesus, I've got a really fat back, or I've just farted, and it's billowed out. Oh. So what do you reckon? I don't know. I think it might be a fart. But then again, you've got a lot of back fat as well. You're quite Let's have a pinch test right, right now. Grab your ass. How much can you grab? Show me the size of your, between your thumb and forefinger. All right. About a hamburger? Yeah, about a hamburger. Of oh, God, there's lots fat. down here. Actually. Are you needing two hands? I can't. I almost can't. You need, uh, that's 
over a whopper. Here's another self-portrait of me. That is good. You look a bit like Hitler. Is that the idea? No. You look a bit like Hitler with glasses. No, I just um, I was just looking at myself in the mirror and drawing exactly as I, I looked when I woke up the other day. You're not wrong. It's like kind of an old Hitler with glasses. No, that's, that's depressed me a bit. Jason's self-portrait. Let's hear from the house band again. Did it ding? 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 Well, what's the next segment? This is uh, your segment, which is makeshift masks. So oh. when we're in isolation. Yeah. Um, and we can't get our hands on a proper mask. Uh, you're going to show us uh, for some, from some basic materials how to make a, a mask. I am. Makeshift masks. I've been playing a lot of Yahtzee. Oh, yeah. Uh, well, how do you make a mask out of that? I've got no? some cable. So you put that on there. Yep. Right. The cable, like that. No corona is going to get through that. I'll Thank put you. this on the website. You can get your belt. Yes, and, a belt. Uh, I've got a, got a pot, a pot top. Yep, so this, pot top. This way you can see people coming as well. Yep. So you put the. Ah, pot, I like that. Put the belt around. Don't smash it. If you've got a glass lid, a glass pot lid, so you can do that. Yeah, I like that. Hello there. I'm, yeah, that's uh, great. Here for the job interview. Is that now? I've got my belt off. I can get to my. <laughs> can get to my. Undies. Ah! <laughs> my ears are quite big, so I get. It looks good. That's amazing. Footballer's Bible Lunch with Dolly. Okay, you go and get Dolly. Oh, Dolly, great to see you again. How are yeah, you? Yeah, good to be here, Jason. You okay, mate? You, you seem startled. No, I'm all right. I've just pulled into the car park and I saw yep. somebody nude running down the street with my digestive biscuits. God, you get up to some wacky adventures, Dolly. Yes. Lots of weird things happen. So what sandwiches uh, have you got for us today? And, uh... It's a digestive sandwich. One digestive on the bottom. Yep. You get one digestive on the top and then you put one in between and it's a perfect sandwich. Oh, that's lovely. Mm. Digestive sandwich. And can we see a bite from a digestive sandwich? Lovely. Is that what it looks like? What's that? Lovely. It just makes it a bit hard to speak. I'll tell you what, take your time because I've got a very big surprise for you, I think. I've got a guest for you. Oh. All right. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to go and get him. Oh my God! How are you? Welcome, pretty boy Stuart. How are the stone the crow? There you go, I'm Malcolm. Pretty good, mate. Pretty good. I remember the days when we, you were Ruck Rover and I was a Ruckman. I'd tap it down to you and we'd, we'd pinch blokes on the ass and oh, yeah, eat, those eat, were them, the eat them out in the showers. Hang on, I'm cold. I need, I need a. Oh. G'day, Dolly. Mm. Back in the days, we'd go to the. The disco at the football club with the function and oh, yeah, have those... sex with everyone and, and they loved me, didn't they? I, I was beautiful. Oh, they loved you, mate. They were, yeah, they were all over you all the time. And I've still got my looks, haven't I? Uh, yeah. I was just wondering about the 
way that you look all like a plastic bag and that. Oh, that's what do you mean? That's terrible. Oh, oh look, I, all right, to be honest, I've had a little bit of work done, but just just around the eyes, just around the well, the, the, the little like crow's me. feet. I don't know. It looks like your head is an entire plastic bag. That is an absolute, the most offensive thing I've heard today. I catch up with you after all these years. It's a lovely surprise, and you, you tell me I look like a plastic bag. I'm sorry, mate. I still get the men and the ladies. When was the last time you had that happen? I'm right now. Someone's, <laughs> someone's giving, me, giving me sex right now under the table. I find that a bit hard to believe. You're saying that there's somebody under the desk right now doing something to you? They're giving me sex right now. That's, right. that's how much you know. Well, can you introduce us to them? No. Why they're not? Just, they're busy right now. Yeah, well, after? Well, maybe you wouldn't want to meet them because it's your mother. <laughs> I don't think so. My mother's dead. Yeah. Oh, she bloody is too. That's a turn up for the books. <laughs> anyway, I'm off to the doctor. I, you know, I'm I'm all self conscious now. I've got a, a complex you've given me. You've got to you've got to stop with the surgery. You're looking like a you plastic reckon, bag. Right. It's yeah. not worth it, mate. Oh. You know what I like about you, Dolly. You've always been an honest bloke, and you you've kept me honest. Everyone's been around me just going, Jolly, you're beautiful. You look just like you did. I know I've had fucking terrible bot surgery. And now I've got this melting plastic bag face. And you, you're good enough. There's no one under the table. I'm not having sex with your dead mum. Jason invited me today and Ray just to catch up with you. And I've enjoyed that. But they also said it's, 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 a, it's probably... a Bible reading. I think I need a Bible reading. Uh, do you want me to read you something? Oh. <coughs> yep. You okay, buddy? No, I'm still got the looks, mate. Don't you worry. I'm very okay. Having sex with your mum right now. Well, I don't think you are, but I'll read you something from the Bible. I've got the Bible here. It yeah, that's help. it. Have a Bible it might reading. help you. The death oh, of God. Moses. Moses. Then Moses climbed Mount Nebo from the plains of Moab to the top of the Pigska. And uh, blah, blah, blah. I'll tell you what, that's moved me to tears. That's moved me to tears. Amen. It's, thank you, Dolly. Thank you. Keep it, keep it next to you, mate. It'll help you out. All right. I'll head off to uh, Dr. Drake and uh, just, uh, uh, just a bit of an just adjustment. Ease off, ease off on the plastic surgery, mate. I don't know what you're talking about, mate. I've never had any plastic surgery. All I'm right. doing your mum. All right. All right. Good to see you, Dolly. Good to see you, buddy. Good to see you, old pretty boy again. Was that? Uh, yes. Well, was it? Was... Did you have a good catch up? It was great. Goodbye. You want to make some money? Make yeah. some money fast. Make a quick buck. Yeah. yeah. It's uh, this segment I'd like to call uh, uh, Ray, and, Ray and Jace place a bet. I haven't got any cash on me. Do you reckon you could, uh, how much do you want us to do? You want to put 50 oh, bucks here on? here we go. You know I'm good for it. Ray and Jace place a bet. It's going to be great. How else are we uh, meant to make a buck in uh, isolation, Ray? So, yeah, but who's, who's spending this money? Well, you are for now, but when we win, uh, you'll get that to f say fifty dollars back or a hundred if you want, and um, it's it's a shoe in the horse. Uh, it's called Big Fat Lazy Pig. Ooh. Um. Well, don't be fooled by the name. The trainer reckons that once he gets out of the gates. Yeah, like I'm a, a bit worried thing. because it's a hundred bucks of mine that you're. Can you transfer that money to me so I can put the? Uh... Okay. One hundred. Uh, there, send. Well, this will win, don't worry. Oh, here we go. You hear that? Yeah. And we're ready for the toilet duck and pogo stick 2,000 metre oh. handicap. Oh. Starter takes his position. We're off. Oh, and big fat lazy pig has just sat down in the gates. He is not moving. 
and he's eating a pie. Big fat lazy pig Come is on. sitting down in the gates and eating a pie. Where did he get a pie from? Who gave him a pie? We should change the name of that segment to it. We'll do our dough because that's the second or third week in a row. I know, but then we're locked into doing our dough. Oh, that's... It is the end. Okay, Warren Elliott, come out, come out, wherever you are. Come out, come out and play. Come out, come out wherever you are. Come on, we've got 10 Hey, seconds. Jason, how are you? Thanks, Warren Ray. Warren Elliott. Oh, it's good, good to be back. How is oh, everybody? Yeah, well, look, we're good, but um, we won't waste time talking about how we are and what have you, is because you've got, um, oh, I'll give you 10 seconds. Um, do you reckon you can get a joke done at that time or maybe just a setup or maybe just a punchline? Whatever you can manage, you've got six seconds. Uh, okay. Warren Elliott. Did you hear the one about the guy with the leg? Yes, yes, I have. Okay, Warren Elliott, thanks for coming on the show. Thank you. Warren Elliott, everyone. Thanks, Warren. Okay. Oh, that's a special one. That's a cool one. I'm going to put that on my hand. Where did you get these Star Wars Band-Aids from? I want some. Uh, George Lucas was um, at the food court. Oh, yeah. At, uh, at South Bank. He was mm -hmm. banging on the glass there trying to get to his uh, favourite Indian place. And I said, hey, George, it's, it's still in isolation, mate. He was outside the food court banging on the window. Yeah, the food court was closed and there's yeah. George Lucas banging on the glass, like yeah. trying to get in because he wanted to get to, he wanted to eat some curry or whatever. Yeah, he liked his curry. Hang on a sec, I'm getting a call from Margaret. Hello, Margaret. Oh, you like my uh, Star Wars Band-Aids. Thank you. Ray. Oh, okay. Yeah. No, he looks fine to me, but no, you've got a you've got you've got a better eye. All right. Thanks, Margaret. What did she say? Uh, Margaret saying she liked the uh she liked the look of the band aid. Oh. But she said your glasses were um were a bit askew. You need to push one end up a bit. Is that better? Yeah, a bit more. Is that better? Are you watching the feed? Yeah. How are raised glasses now? Oh, good. And you need to be, what? Show a bit of vulnerability. Just have your tongue out of your mouth. That's it. Okay, mate. Thanks. Yeah, apparently she likes that look. Oh. All right. Well, that's all we've got time for. You've been watching the Night Talkers Variety 10 Minutes. And... uh We'll see you again next week. Good job, Ray. Thanks. Je suis content. <laughs>